right, guys. I wanted to go ahead and try my hand at building this clan boss team that I got from uh, Deadwood Jedi. Now, before this, the the account only had a two key for UNM. It wasn't a consistent uh, one key. Actually, it wasn't even doing one key. It was just doing a two key. And I changed out the like it it was um, Helicath and somebody else. But basically, it didn't work for all affinities. There were like three different uh, what do you call it? There were three different team setups for it, but I, I recently got rid of that and just wanted one team here to work on all affinities. So I went to Deadwood Jedi's website. I found this team here with the champions that were available, created by Face Melter. And I put the team together. It says it's a one key for all infi uh, infinities, for all affinities. And I just put it together. So we're gonna go ahead and see if this is actually a one key. And then we're gonna go ahead and break down the entire team for you. What I'm gonna do is, I wanna hit the quick battle, but I also want to make sure that if something does happen wrong, I can see what's gonna go wrong. But um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and run it and see if everything goes as is expected. I don't think I have to dive too far deep into how everything works, uh, but I guess I could talk about Oboro, who is the champion of choice for my DPS. And I chose her because she is a void champion. So that's what is going, or that's what's gonna try and make this affinity friendly. Or this is my attempt at trying to make it affinity friendly because I think his damage dealer before was Ninja. But as you might know, using Ninja going up against, I think it's spirit, uh, no, actually it's um, force affinity doesn't end up working too well because he, he hits weak. But Oboro is a strong damage dealer who was, I think, heavily slept on until um, until Tai, Tairaku, actually put out a video showcasing that Oboro is really strong in Hydra. So I thought to myself, you know what? I, I was sleeping on her too. Why not try her out? Pulled her out of the vault on this account and put her in, geared her up, put her in lethal set, and we're going to see if this is a... If, if this is a one key but Demitha is going to be here to place the the block damage buff deacon is going to be here in position number one for the speed aura zephyr sniper uh, <laughs> zephyr sniper that's not zephyr sniper that's eris eris i don't actually know too much about her kit all i guys literally all i did here and you guys need to be aware about this do not ask me for clan boss advice i do not know anything about clan boss all i do literally is go here and just copy this team composition. I follow the rules here. I follow everything that's already, that's already set up and that's it. I don't know anything specifically. So if you're in the comments asking for specific questions, more than likely I'm not going to have an answer and I'm just gonna direct you here because this is literally all I did. I went into the Hell Hades optimizer. I put these speeds in, I set up the presets that you can click right here. It shows you the presets. It shows you the masteries that you need to make sure that you um, are using or not using. I just didn't do that. Oh, by the way, Oboro doesn't have any masteries. She doesn't have any masteries right now because I I just got on this account and there's no gems. So I can't just buy gems and I wasn't about to drop a lot of energy into the Minotaur quite yet. But we were able to attain the speeds. The gear was there for the speeds. So yeah, this is the team. It's, it's looking like it's pretty well, but time will tell at stage 20 and that's that's kind of where we're gonna figure this out because in in my experience whenever i'm doing clan boss uh compositions around turn either 11 or 19 is where everything ends so we're gonna see it looks like we're doing pretty well so far we're weak affinity with him but okay so we're hitting about 100 oh we also steal that buff that's pretty cool the other thing that i liked about oboro is that she self buffs I thought that was pretty cool. It looks like Eris actually removes debuffs too. So that's interesting. Of course, we got the decreased defense from Deacon. I think we're missing Weaken. I think we're missing Weaken. Uh, oh, 212 from Oboro. We got the Leech. Uh, Leech doesn't even matter, to be honest. So he's taking the stun. Right now, we're going up against Force. It seems to be doing pretty well. We're on, stay, or we're on turn 12 so far. And Eris is also in a toxic set, so that's where you're seeing all these poisons pop out of. 
because uh, the small versions of poisons are ticking 25,000 every single time that it is uh, placed. So the toxic helps a lot. The thing about toxic set or just sets in general that place debuffs, you don't actually need to build your champions with accuracy because the sets in it of themselves have their flat percentage stats to place whatever debuff you're trying to place. You don't need accuracy to place these poisons. It's just the flat, I think, what is it, 40% uh, chance? I have to check again. I didn't really check. Hence, do not come to me asking for specific things because more than likely, I don't know it. A lot of things I get wrong. I'm just the average raider just like you. Literally just went to the website, followed the instructions on the website. If I can do it, you can do it too. These, I think the fast, let me talk about while I'm doing this. So Demith is going at 274 and these speeds are exact by the way. I'll show you the exact pieces of gear because I think when we're considering speed sets and perception sets, percentages get a little bit weird. So I don't remember if I avoided avoided those things or, or not. I kind of just picked whatever gear was available. I didn't spend too much time building this team together. I just put it in the optimizer. So shout out to Hell Hades for making that an easy process. Eris, 245 speed. Deacon, 185, 169 with Seeker. This is all pretty easy. I think if you're a newer player or even mid game, I think 245 speed and 274 speed might be an issue. But Deacon, Seeker, and 156 with your DPS, um, probably not that difficult to attain. Now for your DPS slot, it doesn't have to be Oboro. I just chose Oboro. And if you, where is it? And if you scroll down here, you can see more important considerations. Like while there are alternate speeds, if missing Seeker or Deacon, it's not recommended due to the increased speed requirements. Uh, you can see Myth Air alternates. Displayed speeds account for Deacon's 19% speed aura. Eris must not take the stun, so if you're running this trying to figure out what's going on wrong, I have never seen Eris take take a stun. I did one last night before I went to sleep, and it was a it was a it was a one key. Uh, use a force DPS champion positioned ahead of Eris in the team order when fighting Spirit. I don't know if that's going to affect us if we go up against Spirit Affinity, but I guess we'll find out. Same works on UNM, NM, and Brutal. Skill priorities must be set using the team builder. Now, tune variations. If you decide to use Ninja as your DPS, which he is a good choice, but you just have to consider the speeds, make sure there is no cycle of magic mastery. The other thing to consider is Ninja has a 10% boost on his A1, so he's going to be going at 166 instead of 156 to account for that. Jintoro, I have never used him before, but if you're going to use Jintoro, then the speed is going to be 130. This right here, if you're using a 3 to 1 DPS, I don't know what this is, but I, that, that is a thing. Other spirit notes, Eris's minimum speed is 245, and the DPS is a little bit less than one of speaker's speed. And you need to run force or block. Eris is true, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even know what this means right here. So true speed is displayed in the calculator below that you might wanna input. I didn't really look at all this, except for, cause I knew I wasn't gonna use Ninja or Jintoro or anybody else, I kinda already cho chose Oboro. But I did read this and you know, this these are important. But yeah, that's basically it. And then the presets are shown right here. I'll show you the presets in this video as well, but you can see it, it's all right here. And for a one key, we're looking for 70.2 or 70.3, something like that. So we'll see where this ends up. We are approaching the 50 um, count turn limit. It also looks like we're not going to be able to hit the one key. So some considerations here are one seeker is negative affinity. So he's been weak hitting a lot. And Oboro also does not have masteries. I think once I get masteries on Oboro, that the situation is going to change and this will probably be something closer to a one key. I, I definitely want to get Helm Smasher on her. I'm also going to take a look at the masteries for Demitha and I'm going to look, take a look at the masteries for everybody here because I think there are some masteries missing. And I think if everybody had War Master on or you know whatever they need, 
I'm pretty sure this could be a one key. So keep that in mind. There are books missing. There are a few things missing and we'll dive into that um, right here as soon as there you go. All right, so we got 65.69, nice. So not quite a one key, but it's getting there. And like those things that I mentioned and the things I'm about to mention, uh, I'm pretty sure everything is gonna work out. So let's go ahead and dive in to uh, Deacon Armstrong first. He's the first champion here. We're gonna be using him in our uh, lead position. He is in retaliation gear. You do not have to have him in retaliation gear. I just figured if I was if I was gonna, you know, try to get as much damage as I can, a ret set might be pretty good because it gives you an extra, right now we're at a 30% chance to counterattack whenever he is hit. Perception also helps out with getting the right speed and for uh, getting the, the accuracy that we need. However, I think that if you were to run like double or triple perception, it might change things a little bit. I don't know what the exact parameters are, but refer to the source material that I'm going to link down below. And I'll show you the exact pieces of gear so that you can be aware of it. We're focusing on speed, accuracy. Of course, you can glyph up even further if you want to do more damage. Ascension is going to help out as well. I think that's something that I'm going to end up doing a little bit later on when I uh, can get the the stats for it or set, get the glyphs for it but this is sort of like a just a, a side thing here 185 speed but um let's see yeah so there's no changes here so no live arena bonuses keep that in mind if you're trying to build this team that you want to consider if you have arena bonuses i would avoid doing that just to make it a little bit easier to tune your clan boss teams so Use your library and bonuses for something like Hydra or Fire Knight. Now, 100% crit rate, almost 200% crit damage, 3.6k attack. That's not too important. The most important thing here for Deacon is the speed. Make sure you get the speed at 185 and the accuracy. I think 250 for UNM is what you want to be at, but I like going 50 over just to be a little bit more consistent. The other stats don't really matter. Um, but if you can bang out more damage with him, definitely get more attack on him since, attack, uh, attack on him since his damage is based on attack. 100% crit rate and a little more crit damage doesn't hurt either. Now, he's not going to be like your number one damage dealer. Um, I think in the... Here, he did 10 million by himself. And that's a, that's a decent amount in, in consideration for where the account is. So, um, he is fully booked. He does have Phantom Touch on him. So he gets a little bit of boost on that, and the Phantom Touch will add some extra damage, uh, which is also why I wanted to build him with a little bit of extra accuracy, because every time the Phantom Touch procs, that's an extra 3.6k damage. The next champion in the... Oh, let me show you the Masteries, sorry. So he does have War Master. War Master is going to, pro uh, going to proc that extra bonus damage, and we're taking the Defense Tree to get Retribution, to have that chance to counterattack, although we're going to be um i think the uptime for um un unkillable is going to be up the whole time so we're not receiving damage but uh, i guess in other content this works as well you could also take the support tree if you need extra accuracy do not take cycle of magic uh, do your best whenever you're building these these teams and picking masteries avoid anything that's going to affect turn meter control so avoid things or or like um uh, skill cooldowns because it's gonna mess things up. So don't pick cycle of magic. Don't pick cycle of revenge uh, Try your best to avoid those kinds of things. Just stick to the accuracy here. This is gonna go for pretty much everybody in this comp uh, You could take master hexer to extend the duration of like your decreased defense. That's gonna help as well Up to you guys. The next champion is going to be seeker who was negative affinity during this run and you can see that he did 13 million himself. I believe that if he wasn't weak hitting for a lot of it, we could have probably done more damage. So you could try hitting just early in the morning after reset, but I'm pretty sure nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to have to think about it. The whole point here is to just get a one key and not have to think about it. Specific pieces of gear, just speed to get to the right speed, 
If you want to min-max however you can or want to, I would say go ahead and do that. I got the Cruel set on him. I couldn't get anything else on him. He is an attack boots. Just because the speed requirements are relatively low, attack on the ring, crit damage, more damage, more attack. Total stats. We're looking at 5.2k attack, 169 speed, 100% crit damage, 258 crit damage. Oh, I mean crit rate, 100% crit rate, 258 crit damage. And that's all you need. You don't really need anything else. And just like for any of the champions I'm about to show you, focus on it. Because I'm going to assume not, a, not everybody can build their champions with like 100% crit rate, the exact speeds that you need with the crit damage, with the attack. Don't worry about that. If you can't get the attack, crit damage, and crit rate, just worry about the speeds. That's that's kind of your introduction. That's, that's to get the unkillable team going, okay? Now, uh, he does have Phantom Touch for the same reasons. He's going to proc that bonus damage, 15% chance to do so. He is fully booked. Masteries, taking War Master and Retribution again, same reason. Oboro, we're going to do show you guys Oboro real quick. And again, just for reference, Oboro did 15 million herself. Strangely, Eris out damaged her, but I think it also has to do with the, the toxic set and Obro is just not there yet in terms of like masteries. I think the difference is going to be night and day once I get masteries on her. So Obro, lethal set. Lethal set is going to give us extra crit rate and ignore 25% of the enemy defense. This was just the best damage that I could spare on her currently. Uh, 6.5k attack, 111 crit rate, that's just outrageous. Heresy, I'd rather put this extra 11 into crit damage, but it's at 234%. This is just what it is for now. 156 speed, very much attainable, I think, in terms of speed. Again, you don't have to have her in lethal. You could get her in just like triple cruel. Depends on what, what's available to you and depends on your gear. Now, here are the specific pieces of gear. Focusing on making sure we have our attack. Crit damage wherever you can get it. If you can get the ascensions for it, if you can get the uh, the rolls for it, definitely go for it. If you can get attack boots, I would recommend, highly recommend doing attack boots, especially for these low speed champions. Attack with triple attack, crit damage, of course, and just more attack. She is just basically going to be doing raw damage. I showed you guys that already. Um, I had sworn somebody was missing books, but maybe nobody's missing books and I'm just overthinking it. But yeah, she was fully booked. I started her, I started her off. Sorry. I was, yeah, I started her off. I'll show you the presets soon. Started her off in, uh, with the A3 leading into the A2. And then, um, you don't have to worry about any turn meter manipulation here for her skills. She's just straight raw dogging it. Heaven cast to increase the damage inflicted by this champion according to the number of buffs on her. And um, this is part of why I chose Heaven Cast because of the buffs that she places on herself. She's gonna have a lot of buffs on her. And so Heaven Cast is going to help by increasing that damage. You get a 0.5% damage for each buff. And then as you progress further, you get more damage buffs. She doesn't have masteries. That's a huge thing here. I think that might have been the determining factor. If we get masteries on her and I'm able to get more crit rate, I could probably rebuild her to redistribute that extra 11. Uh, it's going to be 16% crit rate into other areas for more attack or crit damage. Gonna be, uh, we're going to be able to take crit damage here. And I'm probably going to end up somewhere like taking single out because there's no reason to take life drinker because we're going to be doing block damage with the mytha so we're going to take single out we're going to take bring it down we're going to take methodical and i'm going to take helm smasher and then we're, we're going to try and take counter attack masteries uh, around here somewhere around here something like that but yeah definitely going to be taking helm smasher and the reason i'm going to take helm smasher over war master is because obro is built like a straight nuker she's going to be built like a straight nuker i think in my experience, and I've tried this on my other accounts, for example, with Rodos, Sun Wukong, and for um, uh, Rathalos in Hydra, I'm able to do a lot more damage by taking Helm Smasher because there is no cap for Helm Smasher as opposed to 
the four uh, percent cap of damage when it comes to war master so early on you're probably going to want to be taking war master but i think if you can get to that point helm smasher is going to do you a lot more if we have a 30 percent oh my god i'm so stupid guys increase rate by 30 percent means you can build obro at 70 percent crit rate fuck you don't need to have her at 100 percent crit rate you can have we can have her at at 70 percent because of this buff here you know what f it let's just go ahead and rebuild her right now there's no need for a second video so i took her off of the damage mode on the hell hades uh hell hades optimizer i put balanced in and then i locked in her speeds at 156 here and i locked in her crit rate at 70 percent here focusing with priorities on the crit damage and attack the sets I i'd like to keep her in probably lethal if i can keep her in lethal i'll see what the difference is between lethal and savage and this is going to be somewhat useful to you guys so you can see my process when it comes to building out my my champions so we have 6.6 250 here in lethal and let's see savage we had uh let's see let's see 6.6 .6, 250 versus 6.3 250 so obviously we're going to be taking the lethal set here we want to make sure we're milking every piece of damage or every point of di where's the l's at where's the l's i dropped it somewhere where is it okay here we go so let's go ahead and take this. Check this, 6.6, 156, 70% crit rate, which is fine, 253. And it looks like all we have to do is take gear off of Tumigia, Paragon, and take these attack boots, which is what we're gonna do here. So let's take this. You're gonna, I'll show you guys her new uh, setup, total setup, so you guys can, uh, oh, equipped verify and i'll put it in the comments below in case you're wondering in case you don't make it this far because I, I understand and let's see crit damage off of you we're gonna leave you yeah we're gonna be able to upgrade you all the way i was worried about the speeds because sometimes if you try to upgrade upgrade your speeds or upgrade a piece of gear then your speed um changes and then it kind of messes up the entire thing so i'm a little ambivalent when it comes to that and it looks like we're good so the new oh actually let's finish this up first so that's upgraded can we get now i'm not gonna i don't have enough for ascension let's see she's full-on attacked out there attack there glyphs i'm looking at glyphs making sure that she is good on glyphs we're maxed out on attack there and attack attack and attack so her new stat, stats are 6.645 um, attack, 156 speed, 70% crit damage, or crit rate, and 250 crit damage, which I'm actually liking a lot more. We're still in lethal set, ignoring 25% of the enemy defense. Now, we still don't have Helm Smasher on her. There are specific pieces of gear. Click through it again just one more time in case I missed it because I have bad memory. Now, we're going to run it again same same exact team but we're going to quick battle it and we'll see what we end up with with a little bit more attack and a little more crit damage six point what, what the fuck first run we did was 65.69 this one was 65.04 and it looks like the difference is eris did about a million less what i'm assuming here is that her toxics didn't proc every single time and it also looks like Demitha did a little bit of uh, less damage here. Obro actually bumped up her damage from 15.8 to 16.7. Seeker did just about the same, and so did Deacon. So the variations here are from Demitha and Eris, with Obro doing a little bit better by about a million or so. Or so. And uh, I think maybe her Demitha's War Masters just weren't proccing. So Demitha is in one set of speed. Uh, again, if you're using speed with perception or speed on triple speed, like just if something's wrong, consider that that might be part of the issue because speed sets and perce uh, perception sets have very minute and specific um, speed differentials. 
and you want to be cognizant of that. So maybe consider that as a potential issue if you're trying this out and it's not working. I don't know the specifics. I'm not going to have an answer for you if you ask me. But the specific speed here is going to be 274. Actually, let me show you the the uh, the, uh, the what do you call it? the pieces of gear here. Crit damage, flat attack there, but it's really you know it doesn't really matter because we're not really using Demit the person for damage. Just need the speeds correct. Attack here, crit damage. We're just trying to get this to work. Counter attack banner. Just got lucky with that and attack here. Her damage is based on attack. She is fully booked. We're taking Phantom Touch on her. And let me show you the specific stats here. She's rocking 3k attack, 274 speed, 250 crit damage, 100% crit damage. And she herself did 8.3 million. Which is, uh, you know, it's not nothing. It helps, obviously. Masteries include all the way to War Master. And yeah, I'm gonna. there's no real need to finish her out. She's kind of just good where she is. And then last but not least, we're looking at Eris. Oops. Eris. All right, so Eris is going to be in a toxic set. It is a, oh, 75% chance to place 2.5%, the small version of Poison. Now, it really got me thinking. Just now that I'm looking at it, maybe my blessing is kind of off here. But here are the specific uh, pieces of gear looking at speed for the most part because she requires a relatively high speed and a little bit of um, crit rate and crit damage I think I tried to oh you know what it was I tried to get her at 100% crit rate but couldn't make it happen in a toxic set but she's approaching 5k attack um, but most of her damage is going to be coming from toxic so just keep that in mind 245 speed if you can get her in toxic just worry about toxic but yeah she is fully booked now because i just looked at her toxic set i just thought about it would it be better to change this blessing to uh this does this oh it does not apply to debuffs placed by gears never mind here are the masteries for her war master and sniper to increase um the chance of placing the toxic set any debuff from skills or, artifact or artifacts by 5%. So instead of just 75, we're looking at 80% chance to place the poison debuffs. So once I get masteries on Obero, I'm pretty sure, pretty confident that this is going to be a, uh, a one key. And as time progresses and the gear gets better and I'm able to glyph things up, more damage equals a significant one key. I, uh, I forgot to show you guys the... The presets i should have done that and it's not letting me uh <laughs> damn it okay fine we'll just do it here are the presets open with the a1 prioritize the a2 prioritize the a3 second second priority sorry let me read priority one on the a2 priority two on the a3 for deacon for seeker open on the a1 that's all you have to worry about for obro so for your dps champions there's nothing specific it's kind of like you need to just read the skills yourself and decide yourself but i wanted to open with her buffs first naturally you just want to wait a minute if we if we have a 30 percent oh my god i'm so stupid guys increase rate by 30 percent means you can build obero at 70 percent crit rate fuck you don't need to have her at 100 percent crit rate you can have we can have her at th at 70 percent because of this buff here and i could just roll that into more damage and then the a2 so priority for obero specifically i'm going to rebuild obero again and then i'll update you guys later in another video so um priority one on the a3 priority two on the a2 demit the priority um priority one on the a3 priority two on the a2 Eris is just going to prioritize and you have to prioritize this guys prioritize the a2 to make sure that she is placing the increased speed 